In a hat in time, you take the role of Hat Kid. On a quest to... <laughs> I don't know. They're shiny things, you grab them. Ooh, a dumb joke. Ah, uh, game, you and me are gonna be good friends. Interesting sitting technique, though I do suggest facing toward the desk. Oh, I get it now. This is a platformer where you play as the super villain. This is a dog game. This is a dog, dog game. Dog! Okay, yeah, no, definitely a super villain. Roomba, this is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Nah, just kidding. I fall with style. Hey, do you got a second? I'm new to this town, and I'm not staying very long! You know what? I already committed one murder. What's one more? Just avoid making eye contact with the Mafia, and you'll be fine. Oh, don't worry. I don't respect my victims enough to look them in the eyes. Mysterious otherworldly being, what do you need? Do you need souls? <laughs> oh, actually, the, the badges only cost 50 bucks. Huh. First, we strangle them, choke them, and watch them beg for mercy. That'll show them. No, wait, strangling is too kind. We smash them together into mush and put their remains in a jar. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be real good friends. Booga booga, run in fear, you alien g g g ghost zombie. What are you? Go away, please. Psh, you tell me to leave. I'm gonna wanna go in. I think that might have actually been an intentional naming decision, though. Go away, please, is the hippinest topness club in town. All right, that bumps up the review score by two points. That's a good couple hours of Mafia corpses. What can I cash these in for? Ooh, a paperclip! Oh, finally, all these murders are paying off! Oh, now I understand what gameplay advantage the top hat serves. You need to look proper fancy in a shindig like this. Would you believe that I booted this game up because I wanted to get away from bullet hell? I'm not entirely sure how this happened, but I do have a cat on my head, so I'm fine with it. Young lady, if I catch you in the studio, you'll receive a ticket so big you'll be in debt for years. Okay, I should probably address it. John Tron is voicing this character, and I think I speak for all gamers when I say this is absolutely unacceptable. John Tron has thoroughly proven that he does not deserve a role in this game. He doesn't go far enough. Ooh, snazzy shades. Ooh, double snazzy shades. Snazzy death. Trust me, those guards spot me, they're the unlucky ones. I'm an expert at pointing at things. The hardest boss in the game, Mario Paint! Uh, get back to me in a couple hours, this is gonna take some doing. I don't judge your time management, you don't judge mine. Okay, okay, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, one more time, let's go! It looks like I'm gonna have to delete my save file again. All right, everybody, we can finally stop theorizing about those figures in Galaxy 2. They were just Satan stalking you to steal your soul. Mario! Mario! Mario? The Mafia is one thing, but these foxes seem totally innocent. Am I really capable of killing an innocent? We want to die! Well, that's certainly one way to handle a moral quandary. Let's see here. D, C, B, 4, I lose. H hey, wait, that can't be right. See, the solution is... It was obvious. I can already imagine it. The mighty... Savior of justice. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of? Oh, well, at least this one's an easy question. Mierder! On my Owl Express! 
gotten itself in an unusual situation. Neopets? No! Neopets will never die! Neopets will live on in all our hearts! Who's the murderer? Which one are you dead at? Of course, I should have realized. The murderer can only possibly be my least favorite body part. Why, yes! It all makes sense! So I stopped playing and came back to this game the day after, and then... This! This! This is just... This is just perfect! It's a time-delayed gag that's guaranteed to hit the player when they least expect it. If you haven't played the game yet and you're still watching this video, just, just, just drop it. Go, go play it. It's good. Try not to use the P word, okay? Don't say... P-E-C-K. Now tell us, darling, what kind of condiments do you like on your tuna sandwiches? You know the sad thing? There's probably unique dialogue if you don't say peck, but I think it's just scientifically impossible for anyone not to choose it. Look at how street smart this diva is! She's standing in this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers! Now that you mention it, these guys look like they might be carrying some pretty dangerous wallets. I'm gonna have to take them down. Which card do you think he's holding, darling? <laughs> Wow! Fantastic! Incredible! Ahead in Time is a subversive game that re-examines the realistic consequences of a platformer hero's violent rampages. This poor mafia boss has had to make accommodations to his daily life just to keep his body going, like being a pair of eyes in a jar. No brain, but I don't think he had one of those before anyway. Hey, quit cowering in fear! You're distracting me from trying to save you! Oh yeah, this is the party I've always deserved. Oh god, oh god, no! No dog piles allowed! No dog piles! <laughs> I get it, DJ Grooves attacks with disco balls and uh, knives? Saw blades? How did you even get these in the basement? If I'm gonna be waiting around for these platforms, I may as well stay in shape. Uh, you're, you're, you're kind of getting in the way of my moment, it was kind of epic, and you ruined my diet. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I, Mustache Girl, can wreak all sorts of havoc while hat kids away. You know, I was gonna mess with the Roomba, but it looks like she torches it enough already. Got to keep it smooth! Crazy sweet! Huh, that loading screen's a little different than usual. Hey, uh, is, is there anybody, anybody here I can murder? I'd like to just murder whoever I'm supposed to murder and, and get out of here. Hey, you want my 3D platformer back? Oh yeah, I can't wait to get to that final boss fight. It's gonna be awesome. Hello, what's this? Well, I mean, I, I have to see when it ends. Yes, it's still going. I, I at least have to go to 1,000. I mean, see, see what happens when it gets to quadruple digits. Oh, n n nothing. Uh, nothing. Eh, let's just keep going. When Mafia explode, Mafia drop pawns. This gives Mafia an idea. Oh, stop! Don't sacrifice yourself for me! That's... that's too... stupid! L like, like, legit, really stupid! Jesus, stop! I'm using the one-hit KO badge! You're sacrificing yourselves for absolutely no reason! Hey, come on, come on, don't feel too bad. It was, it was real fun. You, do you, uh, want to go another round? With Mustache Girl defeated and time slam dunked back to the proper timeline, Hat Kid bids farewell to her new friends and continues her journey home. Remember, games are dumb, so play dumb games. 
special thanks to all Patreon backers, including Eric Flynn, Lorda Renzi, Les Lamb, Zany Bands, David 20 Covers, and Baby JD for helping make this video possible. And a special thanks to Gears for Breakfast for providing me with a review copy of the game. Let me know how much this video sucks and how I can improve in the comments below. Arigato gozaimasu desu for watching, and get out of my house.